my makeup always looks extraordinarily bad on camera. It's not the best in real life either, but on camera it makes me want to kill myself. My battery just went down 2% and I've literally done nothing and I'm kind of mad. I am thirsty. I am back. Today we are going to be talking about family vloggers, especially Daddy05. When I say family vloggers, all I mean is that I'm going to direct the first minute to family vloggers in general and then I'm just going to talk about Daddy05. It is illegal for your child to have a YouTube channel or social media account if they're under the age of 13. They legally cannot consent to be on platforms like that. Now you as a parent are allowed to obviously have an account because you're over the age of 13 I hope. And it is fine to occasionally post pictures or videos of your child on your account but you should not dedicate your entire account to your child because that just makes the account to your child and that is not legal if over like 25 and i'm if over 50 percent of your content or posts are about your child or include your child it is and a lot of things that family vloggers often do is force their child to do things that they may not want to do for example they'll make the kids sing or dance on camera or do makeup or do their hair or Stuff like that. Now, Daddy05 is a pretty well-known channel. He doesn't have a channel anymore, I don't think. His original channel, Daddy05, got taken down by YouTube, and then he started up a new channel called Family05 or something. And I'm not sure if that one's been taken down yet. I believe it has, but I could very easily be mistaken. Now, he gained his name from abusing his kids and pranking them by turning them against each other, making them hit each other. It was abuse. It was just straight-up abuse. Now, Philip DeFranco made a video on this age ago because the account is old and then daddy of five made a response video to the video that philip defranco did and my video is just basically breaking down everything that he said in the video and why it's all bs now one of the points that daddy of five made was that it was philip defranco's fault for reporting what he was doing to his children rather than his own fault for doing what he did to the children a thing that a lot of prank channels like to do when they get called out for doing something illegal or just bad in general like sam pepper when he sexually assaulted girls was that they'd come out and say it was all fake but if it was all fake, which makes literally no sense because Hey! 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 What the fuck? Can you guys stop? <laughs> oh my god, he's trying to bu <laughs> Oh! Are you really hurt? <laughs> what hurt? She jumped on my back! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You know you don't hit girls. Yeah, but she's your sister, she don't count. So you all made me go all through all this Jeffrey's stupid prank! The child obviously still got hurt. The siblings were obviously physically harming each other, and the fake pranks got Cody, the youngest child that the parents would often pick on the most, to burst into tears multiple times. And in the videos, you could see that the children got physically hurt because there were cuts and bruises all over their bodies. When they were trying to defend themselves, they were saying that the kids got to chose whether or not the video got put online. That doesn't mean anything. Like, they obviously never consented to being abused. Another point that they made was that the children got a lot of things because of YouTube money. That doesn't make it okay. That's like hitting your child and then handing them an ice block saying that it's all okay. It's not. Just because you buy your children nice things doesn't mean you get to hurt them. The parents would often also blame Cody for acting out. Again, Cody was the youngest child that they often pick on the most. And he would obviously get very mad because the parents were abusing him. He would shout at them, he would throw things around, and then the parents would act like as if it was some strange phenomenon that just happened out of the blue. No, it happened because you were hurting him. It happened because you are shit parents. When channels made hate videos about Daddy05, a lot of them, well pretty much all of them, would only use bad clips from the channel, if that makes sense. They would only use clips of the children being abused and the parents being assholes. But what that does is give Daddy05 and his supporters a leg up, saying that they were only showing the bad parts of the channel and that they weren't recognizing how good the parents could actually be. Oh. Just because the parents could sometimes be nice, it doesn't make the abuse okay. You can't hit your child like 10% of the time and then for the rest of the 90% of the time be a caring human being. It doesn't make the time you hit them okay unless you actually stop, which they obviously did not do. They continued because that was what the content was made out of. The best of Daddy05 is just a manipulation tactic to make it seem like what they did was okay. And after they got exposed, they would constantly play the victim. Daddy05 family victimized themselves further. Look at what they've lost. All for a few light-hearted pranks that got out of hand. Oh no. 
the tragedy. We wanted to take care of everybody. I just wanted we just wanted to be you happy. guys. We wanted them to be happy. We just wanted our kids to be happy, and we went about it the wrong way. As if you guys did not deserve what you got. In fact, they should have been locked up. I'm pretty sure that's all I have. That seemed like a really quick video. So, yeah, matches are annoying. Okay, bye.